Cliff, as a former Moscow bureau chief, you're familiar with the terms Chechen and Chechnya. We, we have to admit this morning, most Americans don't know a whole lot about that region or that part of the world. Uh, these are still early days, but what can you tell us about kind of a primer on that region? What we know now, Marcus, is that the two suspects the authorities say are of Chechen origin, uh, but that's all we really know. We don't know about any connections at all between the fact that they are of Chechen origin and what is going on or what has been going on in Chechnya. We think they've spent a lot of their lives here in the U.S. Exactly. Now, Chechnya is a predominantly Muslim region of southern Russia in the Caucasus region. It is a part of Russia, the Russian Federation. Residents of Chechnya are Russian citizens. And in Chechnya, there has been a separatist Islamic insurgency since the early 90s, since the breakup of the, of the former Soviet Union. Uh, the Russian government has fought two very brutal civil wars to put down that insurgency, but it has continued at a kind of a low level for many, many years. And there have been terrorist uh, incidents that have occurred in Russia because of this Chechen insurgency. But again, we have no idea whether or not there's any connection between that, between what is going on now in Chechnya and in the Caucasus region overall and in Russia and what happened uh, with the Boston Marathon. All we know are that these, these young men, uh, these brothers, their, their origin is their Chechen origin. Uh, there is a community, of, a Chechen community in the U.S. We don't know how close they are to, to that community or to the issues back in Chechnya. That's correct. In fact, there is a very large Chechen exile community in both Europe, especially in Europe and in, in, and in Turkey and in other and parts of the Middle East. They fled the civil war in Chechnya since the early 90s and some of them, I think, ha have come to the United States as well. Well, we do know, for example, it appears that one or both of the suspects had um, been involved in social media, Russian social media. They had um, taken part in kind of the Russian equivalent of Facebook or other kinds of social platforms and discussed a little bit their, their, their interest, their interest in Islam, for example, things like, like that. Again, we don't really know whether that means anything, whether there's any connection between that between what is going on in Chechnya, what has gone on in Chechnya, and what happened in Boston. Despite all those open questions, there's still some sense, you have some sense, knowing Vladimir Putin, the Russian leader, that, that, that he may look at this and say, I, I told you so. That's correct. I mean, I, I can say with some degree of certainty that in the Kremlin today, they are just saying that we told you so. They have complained for a long time uh, that they do not, that the West doesn't appreciate how difficult it's been for them to put down uh, what they refer to as terrorism, this Muslim insurgency in Chechnya and the Caucasus region as a whole. Uh, they've been criticized by the West for human rights abuses in Chechnya and in the Caucasus region as a whole, and they feel that the West hasn't really understood the difficulties they've faced. And the rest, the, the, the Russians have tried to say this is part of the global terrorism threat. That's correct. They have, they have tried to say that. And of course, um, that will kind of inform the dynamic today as this kind of thing spins out both in, 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 uh, in Boston, in Washington, and in Moscow. Again, early days still, early hours. What are the questions that still remain to be asked and answered? I mean, I think the important questions are figuring out the background of these two suspects, figuring out when they got to the United States, figuring out whether they were in any way influenced by, by what happened abroad. And I think the FBI is going to be looking very closely at that. Cliff, thanks so much for joining us. Thanks for having me.